What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And look where we're at. Home Depot. It never ends. I don't know if you guys can see, man, but there is wood stacked everywhere, man. We just got done buying some wood. Everything we need so we can finish the back of the truck, finally. We were doing some like arts and craft stuff, and I didn't bring the kids because they were at home eating breakfast. But man, I just went ahead and got them the little projects. And we got them the little aprons from um, Home Depot. Man, have a little fun with them for a little bit, man. But for now, get home and finish this truck, man, because we need to get all the woodworking done by the end of tomorrow, man. So Monday, man, we can start putting stuff in. All right, so we made it back to the crib. And so as you can see, this is where we left last left off on the build. For today, we are gonna make the top lid and we're gonna router it out like this guy. You see it has a chamfer on it, a nice little angle. Uh, we are gonna build the side pieces for um, the two eights and the tweeters on each side. And it has the lip that needs to get stapled onto the top piece. Not that much, we basically gotta cut like three pieces, staple some and router them out and I think we're good. Then we can uh, safely say that the back is done. I do wanna do another, some pieces right here uh, raised up to give it a little bit more 3D effect. All right, quick update. So I actually routered this piece off on the wrong side, which is fine because I actually forgot that there's actually an EQ that is gonna go like right here. So I can be able to control the music from here. Um, so I can be able to listen and tune it as I go. But um, I actually just went ahead and I'm just gonna make a whole new panel. I already got the piece of wood cut out and we are gonna go ahead and extend it from like the the firewall of the bed to this point right here um, because we got to add the EQ right here um, so I already got like my piece traced out ready and I'm just gonna measure it um, from point A to point Z and you know trace it out draw my EQ cut out and then get that guy ready and actually really um, router it right this time and then you know we can staple and go and then we can do the, the cutouts so this is the new design cutout right here I had a pencil in my mouth, so we have EQ cut out, the notch again, and we have just a little bit just so it's not square. Um, and we're going to do the chamfer router on it. It should look pretty good. pieces are in but they're just sitting in there I will show you once I cut out the circles uh, so right now we're going to concentrate on getting this guy uh, done this lid um, cut out and then chamfered and then we're going to take the top piece off we're going to cut all the circles and staple that lip on uh, and then we can actually run screws through the inside of the mid base box to pull it down um, and I think pretty much that's it so you see like it's got a dip but the lid of the box uh, once it's three quarters, it's going to raise it up and let it sit like nice and level, you know what I'm saying?
on. I don't know if you can tell, look, we have a little risen piece right there. Check it out. And then one right here. Boom. I'm gonna take that top lid off. I'm gonna cut out all the circles, plus the EQ cutout. Uh, take that lip off, staple it. And overall, guys, man, we're like almost finished with this part of the truck, man. I am very excited. I know you guys are excited. It's been a long time coming. It's looking really good, man, but we still got some speakers to cut out, so let's get it. few moments later all right gang so check it out man your boy finished the woodworking part of the bed it looks man badass like a1 but we ran into one small problem uh not a big problem you know a little small problem you know in the custom world nothing's perfect you have to make things work um there's a solution for it there's always a solution for everything minus death and i'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick so here we have our openings for our eight inch mids that are gonna go on the side but i don't know if you can see look like the corner of the mid base box is right here and then it's part of the um, subwoofer box is right here same situation is going on on the other side um so it's not allowing the basket to actually sit all the way down um you know flush with it um, it's probably off by like a half an inch. So the solution for this is actually making eight inch rings just for the mids uh, for all four of them. And then I can put a chamfer uh, router edge on it, staple them, problem solved. It's actually gonna give it a little bit more contour with the rays and everything. And it's gonna look, you know, fantastic. It's gonna look badass. You know, it's not gonna take uh, sound away from it or it's gonna take the durability or the looks of it. It's actually gonna make it cosmetically look a little bit better. I actually had calculated that it was gonna be like off by a hair, but you know, it was off by a little bit more than a hair, but you know, no biggie, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, um, still came out good, still looks, you know, awesome. I'm looking at it right now. Hey, tell everybody what you think. I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Nice. You give it a 10 out of 10? Yeah. I'm gonna clean up real quick. I'm gonna get the truck in better lining so you guys can see it and you know let me know what you guys think in the comments but I'm looking at it right now and it's like A1 guys A1 So there we have it, man. You can say this thing is 98% done. Man, yeah. With one week, we did a lot of work. When we started off Monday, it was just a little bit. And you know, here we are Saturday, guys. And look at this, man. Woodworking looks real good. Um, man, there's speakers in this thing that's gonna wake up the block. You know, speakers going up. So the reason why I did speakers going up is so you know we go to a lot of block parties and then the block parties end up at gas stations um so you know i wanted the speakers facing up because you know in the gas stations they have like the roofs so when those speakers are up you know firing up at that roof man you're gonna hear those things echoing you feel me um so same thing with these and you know like i like i said i feel that when you don't hear speakers facing at you they sound a little bit better that's why like rear deck speakers um on cars they fire up like 
not towards you and they sound a lot better versus like if they were firing directly straight forward like you'd hear the cone and the actual speaker and would it sound good so that's why i did the speakers facing in at each other i feel like you know it's going to create better quality sound versus speakers just at you and of course the speakers that we're looking at the 212s and the 210s those are mid-bass just to like punch you in your stomach you know what i'm saying on your chest then you know we have the 412 sundown subs that's going to fill in that extra frequency gap and give a subwoofer and it's going to be an all the way around sound good you know a lot of people have um like stunt walls but they don't they're missing that like good bass you see what i'm saying um i don't know if they don't design a good box the way that they have them firing or whatever um it doesn't fill in that extra gap we're not going to have this problem guys I man we're going to have a monster this thing is going to be regulating you see what i'm saying man this is it man i hope you guys like it man this is it for today you know i appreciate you guys tuning in we got her done um next is the blow through beauty panel and the amp rack. so stay tuned for that hopefully i'm gonna knock that out tomorrow but for now man i appreciate you guys watching drop some comments man 150 likes let's get it peace